This morning, the bloodiest battle of this war for the eastern city of Bakhmut appears to be winding down for now. Over the weekend, Ukraine losing its last major stronghold. Visiting the front line, a top Ukrainian commander admitting his troops only retain an insignificant part of the city. And this morning, the deputy defense minister says Ukrainian troops continue to advance in the outskirts around the city. But on Sunday, Russian state TV anchors trumpeting mission accomplished, a win for Russian propaganda back home, reporting Putin congratulated Russian troops on their victory. State TV broadcasting images not independently verified by NBC News of soldiers waving flags. Both sides paid dearly. The exact number of military casualties unknown estimates well into the tens of thousands. But as the sun set on Bakhmut last night, the smoldering remains of a city where 80,000 people lived before the war. Satellite images from 2022 and this month show a vast uninhabitable wasteland. But you have to, to understand that there is nothing. They destroyed everything. There are no buildings. There is nothing on this place. So just ground and a lot of dead Russians. Over the weekend, President Zelensky wrapping up a successful visit to the G7 in Hiroshima and will return home with an additional $375 million in U.S. military aid and finally the international commitment for F-16 fighter jets he's been asking for. A new phase of Western military aid in part to fuel the expected counteroffensive. But back in Bakhmut, the leader of the Russian mercenary Wagner group, Yevgeny Prigozhin, says he'll pull his paid frontline fighters out of the city by Thursday, which may force Moscow's hand to send Russian reinforcements into Bakhmut to hold it. Now, Ukrainian commanders have long said the goal in that battle of Bakhmut was to pin down Russian forces in a protracted fight, allowing the Ukrainian military to rearm and prepare for that expected counteroffensive we are watching this week very, very closely. Hoda? All right, Molly Hunter, Forrester on the ground in Ukraine. Molly, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or... Click the link right here.